Hello and welcome back to Sidemen Reacts with myself, Ethan and Josh. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm sat inside my uh, storage unit. Um, I recently purchased this one. For God's sake, it's moved. <laughs> just, uh, just a couple of days ago for this uh, Sidemen Reacts. And inside these storage units that you can see behind me, sometimes people find millions of dollars worth of stuff. Must be quite echoey in there, bro. You know, like a little tiny tin container. Can you not hear that on my mic? There's like reverb. Yeah, there's right a little echo, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it happened. I'll get rid of it. I'll put some soundproof on the rest of the video. Don't worry. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get to it. Ever find $20 in the pocket of an old jacket? Felt pretty good to find some money unexpectedly. Huh? Well, what if you found not $20, but $7.5 million oh unexpectedly? Good. Okay, okay, so it's highly unlikely you're gonna find that kind of money in a jacket. But it can be found in an old storage unit. This be sick for Sidemen, you know? I was about to say Sidemen buy storage units. But it's not as big in the UK. We've got unbelievable tales of folks buying abandoned storage units, blowing off the dust, and walking away with huge chunks of change. The thing is, I feel like you would have to go through so many storage units to find anything remotely interesting. Yeah, like, I wonder how much they so are. Many. Sometimes, sometimes the most uninteresting stuff will be the most interesting for the video. True. Mm. Here's the most lucrative, unexpected finds ever. And after today's video, we bet you'll want to buy an old storage unit of your own. Yep. To kick things off, we want to talk about the most expensive find in a storage unit which also happens to double as the most valuable find by someone who works on the smash hit TV show, Storage Wars. If you're oh. not familiar with the show, this reality television series premiered on A&E, ran for 12 seasons, and has just been renewed for a 13th season. The premise? Well, due to a Californian law that says, if rent is not paid on a storage unit after three months, said unit can be sold off in a cash-only auction. So you got to be in California. Ah. Enter the stars of the show, who are professional buyers, and after a quick look around, they decide if they want to purchase the abandoned lockers. But in arguably the most infamous auction of his career, star Dan Dotson made history after someone he sold a locker to found $7.5 million Whoa. in cash in the old storage what? unit. Oh, you cash. heard that right. But get this, Dotson only sold the unit for $500. No. Talk about a good Profit. investment on the part of the buyer. See, the $7.5 million was actually in a safe. There was no way anyone could have known that kind of money was in there. Apparently, oh getting the safe God. open proved to be quite the challenge. To quote Dotson in a video that he posted to Facebook and YouTube, the first person they called to open the safe, I guess, couldn't or didn't. So they called a second person. When that person <laughs> opened it up, inside the safe, normally they're empty, but this time it wasn't empty, and it had $7.5 million in cash. How do you have that much in cash? It's got to be it's got some to, sort It's, it's got to be, yeah, you got the bank. money. It's got to be, be, yeah. It's got to be something in the Drug money, money or, or like... Find that money and then you start money. spending one, like you spend like a couple and then you get call up the police and say got, mad. Got to be, got to be. The thing is like, shit. if the police can't prove it's illegal money, like it's yours, right? Like... Yeah, true. What if they're all marked bills or something like they're all like, they know... Yeah. On dollar bills, they have like the little number. They do have IDs number. on all of them, yeah. 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 That's mental, though. Shortly after the news broke, a lawyer who represented the original owners of the safe oh. contacted the buyers, well, and they course. agreed that in return for the $7.5 million, they would get $1.2 It's not that bad, to be fair. Yeah. The settlement, but you could ignore the lawyer. Next up, we've got a storage unit find that will delight gamers young and old out there. Check this out. Tucked away in this dusty old locker was a huge collection of classic video games. It was oh. truly a gamer's paradise. All He's kinds gassed. of rare and vintage video oh, games, God, consoles, and add-ons have oh, been fuck. sitting there unbeknownst to anyone. Did you see the, uh, the auction recently for the game that was like, over a million. Uh, the graded version of... Yeah, what was it? Um, Super Mario or something? Yeah, the Super Mario 60... Yeah, Super Mario 64 game sells for record-breaking $1.5 million at auction. Mental. Sealed copy of Super Mario 64. We're not grading Pokemon cards as much anymore. We're grading actual games. A++ rating. That's quite sick, to be fair. Sealed games, yeah. Jeez. That means that's, that's like going to be like a future. Like all these things... Bro, should we just start grading shit now? Just buy anything and grade it. Should we just grade something now, lads? I'm a, I'm a great yeah, mazurki. I'm a great mazurki. You two is the first one, you know. 
Yeah, yeah guys, if you're enjoying this uh, NFT side memory acts video, if you could grade it, please. <laughs> yeah, grade, <laughs> grade the NFT. Grade the NFT. Sake. A Super Nintendo Game Genie codebook, a Coleco Pong style dedicated machine, and even a Sega Master System game and Sega Saturn disc were just a few of the finds in this storage unit. Ooh. And you can bet these collectibles were worth quite a pretty penny. This was another incredible discovery found on the 10th season of the show Storage Wars. And it was one of the stars of the show, <laughs> Ren, who unearthed the lucky yeah. find. For only $1,500, Ren found that there was an estimated $45,000 to $50,000 nice. worth of games and collectibles Such in the locker. Hall. Most of the collection was old cartridges, so Ren was warned that it would take a long time to sell everything to actually <laughs> get that $50,000. But with enough patience and enough nerdy collectors, Ren was assured they could get that 50k. Jeez. I'm just saying, like, so okay, so someone's got this mental collection of old games. Mm. Do you think they've died, and that's why they've not paid their rent on the storage unit, and then he's just come oh, in? Oh, don't, well, don't say yeah, that. Same, same as like, same, like, same as the person with seven point five million. If you have seven point five mil in a well, safe, they, they chased it up, didn't they? they yeah, no, but even then, how would you not pay the rent for it, guys? Guys, yeah, I mean, don't that's, say that's that. Different. I'm just, I'm just saying. Nah, listen, it's an incredible purchase. If, if that is the case, <laughs> if that it's is an the incredible case, purchase, it doesn't change that. If that is the case, then their, 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 their collection is, you know. It's been passed on. Been passed on, yeah, to other collectors. You could sit there in, in dust and rust away. Here's a find that is sure to delight sports fans, especially if you're a fan of the Chicago Bulls 1990s dynasty, which included none other than Dennis Rodman, Scottie yep. Pippen, and Michael Jordan. Rodzilla. Here's the story. A man in North Carolina bought what he thought was your average run-of-the-mill storage locker until he started to do a little digging inside. He quickly realized that he may have stumbled across a rare piece of Chicago Bulls history, and it may be worth some serious change. The locker Ooh. contained two of Michael Jordan's recruitment letters. One oh, from shit. assistant Bill Guthridge and another from coach Dean Smith. Hold Just on. how did these incredibly right away, rare you know? documents so find easily. their way into an old storage locker? Sick. Apparently they were given by Jordan himself to Michael Jordan's 23, a restaurant that opened in 1999 in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. When they were auctioned off, they went for $50,000. Hey, what Very can we shit. say? People love Michael Jordan. In fact, just one month prior to selling these documents, another auction house, Gray Flannel Auctions, sold a pair of shoes that Jordan used during his infamous flu game, where Michael Jordan scored an astonishing 38 points in a game where he was sick with the flu, and they yep. went for $104,765. If you've got any Jordan memorabilia, we say hold on to it. It may just make you rich one day. Our next expensive storage unit find... Chocolate coins. <laughs> in the chocolate, chocolate, bro. Straight gold. It was in 2011 that none other than Dan Dotson from Storage Wars noticed a chest inside an old locker, and he quickly offered a thousand bucks on the spot for it. Since the <laughs> couple who owned it couldn't pry it open, they agreed. We've got to say, when it was discovered what was inside, who boy, did they make a mistake in selling it. Oh, to no. even move the chest out of the unit, it took three people, and inside was $500,000 in gold doubloons. Experts say that the chest was around 200 years old and that this treasure could truly be described as the pieces of eight Spanish gold. This is a pirate treasure. Yeah. Which dates it anywhere between the 16th and 19th centuries. All we have to say about this find is arg matey. Right. <laughs> While our next story may not be a traditional storage unit per se, it certainly was a storage facility. That's like Vikram Singh, bro. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Vikram Singh, bro. Singh, bro. When you find out what was inside, though, we're sure you'll agree it deserves a spot on our list. 21-year-old car collector Vince Hernandez came across an old abandoned barn that was being used to store all manner of odds and ends, sheet metals, and vintage supercars. Oh, you heard that right. Whoa. After dusting off all the cobwebs, after all the barn hadn't seen the light of day since the 1980s, Hernandez found several Jeez. Lamborghini Countaches, a Porsche 911 Speedster with only 41 miles on the odometer, and a Ford Shelby GT500, but it didn't That's stop there. Sick. A Ferrari 400 automatic, a Buick GSX, a Cadillac Series 62, and a 1969 Hemi Charger were all Jeez. collecting dust as well. They got me worth M's. How does that happen? The total valuation of the vintage supercars? $2 million. Jesus. 
May this be a lesson to anyone out there who buys some property with an old barn in it. Be sure to check what's inside it. How does that For our to last me? storage unit find, we've got something truly special to show you. In this story, a Florida radio station spent $300 for a storage locker in an auction. Inside was a rare piece of history that just so happened to be worth millions. Inside were handwritten lyrics, photos, and old contracts that belonged to none other than the Beach Boys. It was an incredible find, and when the Beach Boys found out that their old memorabilia had been found, they wanted it back. But they didn't uh. get it. The items were sold in an auction for an incredible seven <laughs> oh my million God. dollars. Looks like someone what? was feeling the warmth of the sun that day. Somebody very rich must have been a mega fan of the Beach Boys. Beach Boys, yeah. <laughs> that, that is outrageous. outrageous. That is outrageous, bro. Holy shit. Wow. You need to go buy some storage units, lads. Yeah. We got one bonus storage unit find for you. If you're a comic book fan, you're definitely going to appreciate this one and want to pay attention. The most expensive comic of all time, that would be Action Comics number one, was once found in an old abandoned storage unit. Apparently, it had been stolen from Nicolas Cage's home in the year 2000. When it was found, Cage was ecstatic, not only because he was a fan of the comic, but because of how much it's worth. After all, he ended up selling it in 2011 for $2.16 million. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. A comic for 2.5 mil. Graded, oh, get them graded too. Oh. Right, I'm just saying, like, how, like, all right, should we get some more KSI bits and hope that in like 15 years, <laughs> what can we get? Should we go around this flat? Should we just go around this flat? Just get him to sign everything. <laughs> I've got the KSI DAZN glove. I'm gonna get that graded. Fuck it. I'm gonna get him to sign it. And he grade signed it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Get no, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get, get him to sign it and grade it. Fuck it. See what happens. Nice. That's our ten-year plan. KSI gets, gets goes clear, and we just sell all this stuff. Fuck stocks, bro. I've invested in KSI grades. <laughs> KSI to the moon. <laughs>